Stephen is not going anywhere. He's making the call. Turn card and eight makes two pair for Alan Sternberg. Mm, if he wasn't confident in his hand before, he's certainly feeling good about it now. Well, thank you, Kimberly. As you can see, four players remain, and the chip leader is young Stephen Kelly, 21 years old, with 4.5 million in chips. Winner's going to take home over a million. The raw deals. Tony Dunst here. Tony, having a good time. Absolutely, Vince. Great to be here. And every single player left at this table has over 60 big blinds. So we're not going to see any more. Just get it in pre-flop, jam it in. You know, hope I don't get called scenarios. But a lot more guys three betting, four betting. Well, here we go. Action goes to Mike the Mouth Matisau, and he picks up Ace Ten. Where is? And he's going to raise. Makes it seventy thousand to go into the New Yorker Alan Sternberg. How much are you playing, Mike? 1.8. He's got a pair of fours, and he is going to make the call. WPT champion Vivek Rajkumar folding, and our chip leader Stephen Kelly also out. So the flop we go. And the flop comes up 9-9 king. Pretty good looking flop for Allen. He knows that Mike is probably going to bet that flop a lot, but also is going to bet that flop every time he didn't connect with it. And he's making the continuation bet 85,000. Allen Sternberg going to stick around with the fours. Turn card, Turn card six, six of clubs. clubs. Pretty safe card all around for Allen. A little Madison fire again. No, he slows down. Oh, yes. Gonna check. Yeah, I don't like double barreling here. I like him going ahead and checking. And look who's gonna bet now. Allen Sternberg with the fours. Fires in about a third pot to sort of protect his hand. So a lot of overcards could actually end up connecting for Madison. Yeah, but wow. Madison not going anywhere. In fact, he's gonna raise. Makes it 325,000. Not a big fan of this re-raise, Vince. I really don't feel he's representing very many hands here. He wouldn't check raise a king most of the time on this turn, so it's basically a huge hand or nothing. Now, Allen with just a pair of fours. Allen also not convinced. No, he's not. Nice call by Allen. Down to the river we go. It's a three of hearts. Helps neither player. It's a total brick for a river. So whatever Allen's calling with, unless it's a big draw, it's still safe on the river. So I hope that Mike doesn't follow through with this one. I think he should abandon ship. Oh, boy, you can't kick him under the table here because he is betting half a million dollars goes out. I so don't believe this. Yeah, and again, I'm not a fan of this bet here, Vince. By betting half a million into a pot of a million, he's so laying Alan Sternberg three to one to make a call in a spot where he's not really representing very many hands. You could be bluffing with a better hand than I have. He's Alan on to it. He made a great call on the turn. Manasau would just love him to just fold. He'd feel so good about this. Well, Alan complied. Yeah. Sixes, maybe? Alan used to work in a record store. Was it 500? And now he's playing poker on TV for millions. Whoa, he's making a great call. Madison turns up his knees, the ace 10. And this is a problem when you try and run a bluff line where you're representing a very narrow range of hands. People who are willing to call down and think about what you're holding and representing simply aren't going to believe it. Was that the blow up? Was that, was that the acclaimed Mike Madison blow up? I think that was it. I think that was a blow up. Robbie Salt Moon. Oh boy. Don't tap God on the damn, fish man. tank. <laughs> how, how do you do that? You played him like a fiddle. A fiddle. Wow. That was a blow up right there. Jesus. Madison wants to just go hide under a rock right now. This is you. This is you playing poker on WPT Global. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code YT10 and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. Right now, action on Stephen Kelly. He's got ace king of spades. And with a hand like that, he just might grab that chip lead back. And he's raising. Makes it 100,000 to go. Madison out. And the Belmore bluffer now with a queen jack. And he's going to make this call. WPT champion Vivek out. To the flop we go. Flop of 6, 10, 9 is an awful lot better for Alan Sternberg having flopped two over cards in an open-ended straight draw than it is for Stephen Kelly, who with his ace high is kind of in an awkward position on a lot of turn and rivers. Well, Alan has checked it. Stephen Kelly with the somewhere. continuation bet. Looks like 120,000. And a very casual call by Sternberg to the turn. 
Oh, wow, look at this. It's a king of clubs making kings for Kelly and an absolute cinch of the time for Alan Sternberg with the straight. Alan has checked it. And Steven is bet it's 260,000. Yeah, Steven doesn't know how much trouble that heart actually puts him in. And here comes the re-raise by Allen, makes it 650 to go. Here, not only does he have the best hand, but he's got a texture here where it looks like he can represent so many hands that have yet to get there. Now these are the two chip leaders going at it. If I'm Steven, I'm calling and evaluating on the river, trying to make my decision as to whether I'm going to call down what I think might be a semi -block. Those yellow plaques are worth 100,000 each. He is re-raised. Okay, I'm not quite sure what he's hoping to accomplish with this re-raise as it reopens the betting. Well, he just thinks he's in front. Top pair, ace kicker. Come on. And there, Alan Sternberg with the cinch at this time goes all in. Makes it go away. And this would be the problem if you're running a turn like that. It's hoping to smooth call draw. Especially if Alan can ever semi bluff that turn, then popping it up again there is a total disaster. This is the largest live tournament cash for Alan. Not acting like he's very calm. Yeah. Even when things aren't going his way, just in stride. All right, back to the felt. Alan. Now with an ace seven. He's on the short stack and he goes all in with ace high. A couple folds. Only one to beat is Stephen Kelly. And Kelly's got a king queen off suit. I call. Wow, and Stephen Kelly's gonna call it. Wow, and not a loose call, especially when you're against Mike Madison, who, for the most part, outside of his bluff, has been the tightest guy in the table. Madison mumbling to himself. He knows he's a slight favorite, but anything can happen. So Stephen Kelly's friends and fans, they are chanting bounty. They know he has taken out three bounties in the Spade 101 so far. Mm, truly, he's been the bull of the tournament, fans. <laughs> And here we go with the flop. Six, five, three. Good for Madison. His ace high still out in front. For the turn we go. It's a deuce. Also a good card for Madison. And he's feeling it right now. He dodged six outs in the river. Madison sticking it out. As his buddy Phil Helmut up on the rail. Root him on. He's got to split one more card. And Madison double up. We will see. Yes, he's done it. Four clubs makes it straight. This is my time, don't worry, we're coming back. Mike, the mouth can talk again. Taking a pretty good one from Stephen Kelly. That was Vivek Rajkumar, a young 24-year-old poker pro out of Seattle, Washington, with a pair of 10s. And he's gonna raise, makes it 115 to go. Stephen Kelly out. Mattisau peers down at a queen nine suit, and he and Vivek are actually our two current short stacks. So neither has a lot of room to maneuver with. Madison is going to call. About. So we got Queen 9 up against a pair of 10s. Here's the flop. Nine under. Ace 4 9. Madison getting a 9 right there, and he's going to check it. Vivek with the 10s. Got to be wary of that ace hitting, though, but he's going to bet 75,000. Again, using a very small continuation bet on these kind of flops. Mike the mouth. Wow. He's raised. Check raised a third of his stack. Made it 300,000, but a quick call by Vivek. Yeah, yet again demonstrating that he simply is not going to believe people who check raise him on boards like this. Five of diamonds on the turn. That slows Mike Matisau down. They both check. Oh, a nine on the river. What a card for Matisau. Hitting his three of a kind. Wow, you do everything wrong and you get rewarded for it, Tony. Mm, it does work out that way sometimes. Mullen. And he, with his short stack, says all in. Oof, nasty spot for Vivek. He's thinking, wow. if Mike wanted to bluff me, wouldn't he have moved in on the turn? How much is it? This is Vivek Rajkumar's third WPT final table just last week. He was in second place at the LAPC. That's back-to-back -back final tables. Just incredible. It's a nine or nothing, right? It's a nine or nothing. He's having difficulty finding a lot of hands that beat him, but he's also having difficulty finding a lot of hands that he could beat. Because in theory, most of those that are just a total bluff are gonna move in on the turn. Oh, he has got a problem. Is he gonna pay off Matisau? An even bigger problem for Vivek is that because he's so short to start the hand, he'd have to call off for almost all his remaining chips. Yeah, you're right. And he finally does the right thing, makes the nice lay down. He just got outdrawn on the river, and Mike Matisau builds up his chip stack. All right, back to this. 
Alan Sternberg quickly folds it. All in. And look at this. Vivek Rajkumar going all in with King Jack. How much is it? Stephen Kelly right behind him with a King Queen. He's pondering this. 750. Mullen. Wow. Wow. He's going to call, call, call him. You're going to call? Show your hand. Show your hand. I'm folding. Yeah, yeah. Show your hand, though. Just show it. I was going to call you. Madison oh, has gone out. It's not good for me. He had the same hand Stephen Kelly oh, did. It's great for me. Well, one queen's gone. Wow. Well, this is the notorious hand that knocked out Mike Sexton right. earlier. We saw that one king queen got folded. So he feels a little bit better about his chances. Can he slam out a jack just as Mike Madison did earlier to Mike Sexton? Nice hand, Steve. It's not over. A dream of no Vivek's two-time WPT championship on the line right now. Didn't we see this earlier in this, As he's behind uh, with his King Jack. Here's the flop. And the flop comes up. Ace three. Deuce. Stephen Kelly out in front with his King Queen. Queen. Love to bust out Vivek and a seven of diamonds. That's also good for Stephen Kelly. Where do you guys want to go for sushi? You guys want to go serving for what's going to be planning to see you. Doing dinner plans. Ten of hearts on the river. Rightfully so. He's going to be available to make those dinner plans. And that's going to wrap it up for Vivek Rajkumar. Can't make his luck hold up. Going to pick up 295000 And a hug from Mike Madison. That is as good as it gets. Mm. He's a great champion. A lot of class that young man has. This is you. This is you playing poker on WPT Global. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code YT10 and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. $1,000. We have one bounty left here. That's Mike Matisau. As he looks down at a jack eight and folds, and now the chip leader, Alan Sternberg with a king eight, is going to raise. Makes it 160,000 to go. Not backing down on the aggression, but Stephen Kelly's picked up a pair of fives, and we know he's not going anywhere. We're going to see a flop. And it's a good one for Alan Sternberg. Pair of kings on the flop. And just as he would bet a lot of his bluffs here, he's going to go ahead and have to bet his good hands too, especially considering there's a lot of draws out there that Steven could be calling down with. And he's bet 125,000. Steven is not going anywhere. He's making the call, turn card, and eight makes two pair for Alan Sternberg. Mm, if he wasn't confident in his hand before, he's certainly feeling good about it now. And I like that it looks like he's going to just go ahead and fire again here. I feel that no point in really checking. People are so aggressive, blind versus blind, that there's so many draws that Steven could have that that's the right move. And he's bet 275,000. And Steven Kelly's calling with the fives. And the river card, nine of diamonds, pairs the board. And if Alan believes that Steven was calling down with a nine, then it's a disaster card. Well, Alan has checked. He is wary of the nine. Yeah. Additionally, that counterfeits Alan's two pair. So if Steven had something like a king 10 or a king jack, all of a sudden he's got the best. Yeah, and Steven Kelly has bet 425,000 with just a pair of five. That river is terrible. Very terrible. Alan talking to himself. Yeah. And now he's just hoping, wow, does Steven have a jack-10 or a queen-jack or some spades that he played very passively? Because otherwise, I'm beat. A lot of money in the pot, though. This is a $425,000 bet. <laughs> wow. Nice play by Steven turning a pair into a bluff there. Lex the show one of his fives. King five is good. No, it wasn't. Steven Kelly, very shrewd bet on the river. Nicely done. Stephen Kelly, things are going right for this 21-year-old. Almost a chip leader. He and Sternberg are with about the same amount of chips. And he's at 10,000 bonds, are going up to 40 and 80 right now. Yeah, that really puts Mattisau on the edge with just under 1.4 million. Certainly doesn't have a lot of options available to him. And in this hand, Alan Sternberg's raised with a king seven, 180 to go. Mullen. And look at this, Madison with a queen, ten of hearts, going all in, and he's going to win this pot. Yeah, I like the spot. The hand that plays really well as an all-in, sucks out very frequently, and he knows how aggressive Allen is. It's a smart play by Madison to stick it in. Allen Sternberg with the button. He's got a king, queen of hearts. Got a raise, makes it 180 to go. Stephen Kelly, 21 years old. 
Shibuya goes out, and now Mike the Mouth Matasau. I'm all in. Wow. Ooh, not a fan of this one. With just a nine-deuce, Mike Matasau has gone all in. I'm all for aggression, but you can wait for a better hand than this, especially when you just jammed on the guy a few hands ago. Well, Allen is called. The bluff potentially backfiring for Mike the Mouth Matasau. That's the problem with moving in with garbage. When you're called, you really don't have a lot of ways to get there. Matasau's dream of becoming a WPT champion after five times. All the one right now. He's adored to take down his hand. They said I got no balls. Gotta get them balls going. He needs to suck out here. I'm not worried. It's home. I'm there. He's on check, and I'm there. Oh, you're not there. Yeah, the flop comes up. Queen, 10-6. Uh, I need diamond. As Alan Sternberg hits his queens on the flop. Jack of diamonds would be good. Well, he has backdoor draws, I guess. Anything can happen on the WPT. And the turn card comes up. And look at this. It's a four diamonds. Ooh, this makes Madison very much alive. And we've known from previous in this final table that he's capable of hitting a river. He's got a shot here with a diamond. He could pull off the miracle. This is my time. Mike the Mouth Madison needs a diamond. Will he get it? No. Deuce of hearts, not to be. Good luck. Madison is out. Well, Vince, Mike Madison is going to be our third place finisher. Take home $369,000. Yes, but always fun to see him play. He's a new kind of player. Mike the Mouth, his fifth time out on the WPT final table, but it's not to be. He's out in third place, and he signs the T-shirt. Good sport that he is, though. Very fun guy to play coach. Yeah, man. Always riveting to watch him play. I really did. I mean, I had Alan Sternberg makes the bounty of 5,000 by knocking out another bounty here. Right, last one remaining in the field. Right now, Mike Battisau talking to Matt Savage. You were so patient, patient, patient. And then in that last hand, you kind of got caught with your pants down a little bit. No, no, not really. I thought I saw something on him. And on that time there, it just didn't work out. Well, you're a crowd favorite. You got a lot of fans behind you, so hope to see you on the next stop. Hey, it was fun, man. I mean, it's you don't get that many chances, but uh, hey, what the hell. I, I play good for all them people. Excuse me, for all them people out there that say that I can't pull the trigger, you know. I, I pulled the trigger twice. <laughs> All right, Mike, congratulations. It was fun. All right, thank you, brother. Here we go. Stephen Kelly with 6.3 million. Alan Sternberg with 6.1. Lines are 40 and 80,000. And on the first hand, Alan Sternberg with a nine. Eight of clubs. Gonna raise. Makes it 200,000. Going into a fairly deep stack heads up with both guys almost exactly even in chips. And Stephen Kelly with a 9-7 of hearts. Old aggressive play mm. continues, because right. Stephen Kelly has popped it. Makes it 560,000. And Allen not going anywhere. He's made the call. I do like the call by Allen. He knows that Stephen's capable of three-betting light pre-flop. He's in position. He's got a hand that flops very well. Well, look at this flop, 10-8-5. And that is eight for Sternberg. And Stephen Kelly with the open-ended straight draw. And it's on the 21-year-old Stephen Kelly. He's going to bet out 470 grand. Naturally, we're not going to see Allen go anywhere on this flop. Stephen's got enough of a piece of it. He's likely finding on firing multiple barrels. Either gets there or doesn't get there. And the Belmore bluffer is going to make the call with his eights. Nice call. Yep. Turn card coming up. And it's the five of hearts. It pairs the board. Pretty big dud and a much better card for Allen Sternberg than it is Stephen Kelly. And it looks like Steven's going to reach anyway. I still like his bet here, considering he's open-ended, and check calling is not a very viable option. 21 years old. He has guts. He's got chips, and he's betting 1.1 million. Now it's up to Allen to decide, do I think this guy three bet a five pre-flop? Otherwise, the only hands that he could really have that are beating me are big pairs. So do I think he has a big pair that he does three bet pre-flop? Allen says, I'm calling you. Yeah. With the eights, and the river card is a 10, pairs the tens. Horrible card for Steven to try and keep bluffing. Now, all the draws have missed. If Alan was calling him down with a 10, he'll never get away with it. Well, they both check. Yeah, I like that Steven decided to abandon his bluff here. And just like that, Alan Sternberg becomes our chip leader once again. Well, Alan Sternberg had the guts to stick around with just eights. That is going to hurt. That is a huge pot. It is indeed. Alan's staying very cool and collected. 
has been throughout the final table, even when things were going really wrong for him. Got this tournament through a $600 satellite online. Incredible. Now he's just one man away from a million dollars. Stephen Kelly first to play. He's got a 5-4, but he's got a raise. Makes it 250 to go. Yeah, most of all, what he has is the button. And in a heads-up match, that normally means your raise. That's right. And Alan Sternberg with a 6-3 of clubs. He will play. Yeah, it's not going to be folding a lot of suited and semi-connecting hands out of the big blind in a heads-up match. Okay, wow, here's the flop. 10-4-3. Kelly with a pair of fours. Sternberg with a pair of threes. Alan's going to bet 225,000. Naturally, Steven's going nowhere with his second pair, especially in a texture like that. Well, the turn card is a five of clubs. Makes two pair for Stephen Kelly. And now Sternberg with a straight draw and a pair of threes. He has checked it. Yeah, I like his check here. It's really bad for him if he gets blown off his hand and he's got enough showdown value here that he can check call confidently, knowing that there's going to be some semi-bluffs in Steven's range. Well, Steven going to bet with his two pair, 675,000. I don't think we're going to see Allen get away from his hand quite yet here. He knows Steven could potentially be semi-bluffing. He knows that Steven might float him on the flop because he doesn't believe a little dog bet on such a raggy board. Plus, he's got the pair in the open and the straight. Well, you're off. correct, Tony. He's making the call. Love to hit his straight. Certainly make his life a lot easier on the river. Big pot happening now. Here's the river card. King of hearts. Three hearts out there now. Pretty scary for Allen, who at this point, I would think, if he was checking, is always giving up. But instead, looks like he's going to lead out with a bluff here. This is a gutsy young player from New York. He's betting, wow, 1.2 million. And that's a large portion of Stephen Kelly's remaining stack. He's got two pair, though. He's got to ask himself, would Allen take this line with hearts? You know, like 10 jack of hearts? So it's really about Steven deciding, does Allen have the hearts here? Because I can't imagine he's betting a lot of other hands other than hearts <sighs> or bluffs. I agree. If you think through this, wouldn't he have played four hearts on the flop differently? I believe he would. Steven might be able to figure out this puzzle because he's got two pair. It would be a nice call. Hand in the folding oh, motion, though. We don't like that. No! Oh. He's folded the winner. But you gotta give credit to the New Yorker. It absolutely demonstrates the power of aggression. So Alan Sternberg takes down that pot. This is you. This is you playing poker on WPT Global. Come play at WPT Global. Click the link in the YouTube description below. Sign up with bonus code YT10 and receive your welcome package with a deposit match and free tournament tickets. So the blinds are 16 120. The Stephen Kelly, he's got an ace queen with the button. And he's going to move it up to 240,000 to go. And the New Yorker looks down at a 10. Eight of space. Now look at this. He's throwing in oh, I call. over a couple million. Oh. It's not all in, but I called it. Almost enough to put Stephen oh, Kelly yeah. out. Right. And he says, oh, you know, I didn't quite put enough to put him all in, but whatever he's got left, I'll call it off. All of Stephen's chips are in. And Stephen Kelly is the favorite, of course, ace queen up against 10 8. Sitting one. I can't look. I can't look. Comes down to this. Yeah. Can Alan Sternberg suck out to become a WPT champion? The brawler from Belmore, New York, with the opportunity of a lifetime. Five cards to come. And the flop comes up a queen. Beautiful for Stephen Kelly. He's got queens. But Alan has a pair of eights. Well, Stephen's flop top pair like he was hoping for. One more for, queen. One more queen. Secure, Alan can still hit a 10, 8, or make a back one. Right, what street is a seven pairs the board? Good card. That's a good card. That's a brilliant card, card for Stephen Kelly. Really Takes away card. pretty much all of Allen's outs, leaving him with just two outs. Allen would need a miracle. If he gets that miracle, he's a WPT champion. We're going down to the last card. Oh, man! He catches the eight. He gets the miracle. Wow. He takes the title. Wow. And Stephen Kelly is devastated. Dramatic river cards we have seen here tonight, Vince. Wow. He's done it. Alan 
Braun Sternberg, the biggest suck out of the night and probably of the season, has taken down his title. Got to be the biggest suck out of his life. Well, while Aaron's getting high fives on the rail, we've got second place finisher Stephen Kelly standing by with Matt Savage. A pretty sick beat there on the end. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Uh, it happens. It's part of poker. Only 21 years old. you got a pretty bright future ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty excited for the upcoming uh, WPT events. Well, thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's hear it for our new champion at Bay 101, Alan Sternberg! Yeah.